Hello, my spooky skeletons. This is Sionic Blader, and welcome to another super special awesome Bakugan Battle Planet unboxing. This time, I'm going to be unboxing the Wave 2 Bakugan Ultra Ventus Trox. Now, uh, I picked this up in my last Baku Hunt video from uh, Canadian Tire, and um, I was really looking for a Diamond Trox. Um, because I've been really, really wanting to find the Wave 2 Diamonds, especially Diamond Trox Ultra, because I just love how the design is for Trox Ultra in general. But uh, I bit the bullet and ended up picking up the regular version. I am, if I can find the Diamond version, I will find the Diamond version. And I also want to find all the anime accurate uh, Bakugan as well, so I still need to pick myself up a regular Hydrus Ultra to match with my uh, Diamond Hydrus Ultra. But anyways, this is the Canadian version. I picked it up from Canadian Tire. And so, uh, yep, let's pop this Dino, Dino Dan open. All right, this is everything that you get out of the box. Of course, you have the uh, how, to, how to play the toy battling game, the uh, checklist. Now, this is the uh, Wave 2, or Wave 1 and Wave 2 checklist. So it doesn't have any anything in Wave 3 except for the Tutonium... Yeah. Anyways, nothing special. It just is how to close up Trox Ultra. And um, first of all, let's take a look at the Baku cores. Now we get a shield Baku core, and I believe this is called a Hex Baku core. And for the Hex Baku core, we get a plus 500 B power minus one. Yeah, it's a, actually um, B power wise, it's pretty good. But for some reason, it negates. It, it gives you a negative one when it comes to. Uh, attack power, but I guess that's the price to pay when you want such a high B power boosting back core and you're not a magic shield. But anyways, next is the uh, regular shield, and okay, this plus 300, this is actually not bad if you're running a, uh, a shield deck with an Aura Else blocking on, I guess you can stock up with these guys because I think this is like the best vanilla uh, back core you can get in the shield. So this is actually not too bad. I mean, it's not optimal, but I mean, if you don't have anything else, it's pretty good to use. So anyways, now let's take a look at the cards. Now because this is the a Cana uh, international release, because I got this from Canadian Tire, it will come with three copies of the character card and three copies of the ability card that we get. Now um, this could be a good thing if the ability cards are really cool. Okay. But first of all, let's take a look at Trox. This is one of the few Bakugans that have an effect when you come with it. Now, it is 301, which is a lot weaker than um, Trox Core. And over, uh, okay, now over here, Victor, not this one, Victor. You may energize a card in your hand uncharged. That's actually not bad. Um, however... It's going to be a bit tough to uh, beat anyone with 301, but I mean, if you can, then you get a free energy. So that's actually really cool. Not bad at all. Now, let's see at the, uh... Oh, okay. This one is called uh, Deafening Roar. Oh yeah, Deafening Roar. Negative 600 B power. This is actually not too bad. I know there's one... I forgot what it's called, but it's negative 1000. That's much better, but I mean... This is solid as well to play an event deck. If you uh, can't boost your B power, you might as well reduce your opponent's B power, right? But anyways, that that's the cards and the back cards that you get. Let's take a look at the Bakugan itself. All right, here is the magnificent Trox Ultra. This is actually one of the uh, cooler Bakugan, in my opinion. I really like. Um, its design and uh, it, I liked it so much that I had to pick up the regular version before I even got the diamond version where, where I usually just buy the diamond version first and then supplement it with the regular version for the collection but I like the design so much that I had to pick it up the only problem with the design I have is with the screw in its jaw I don't know if I don't know it, it seems kind of weird but uh, anyways, as for the articulation, you have uh, a tail that moves, but these are all spring-loaded, so they just go back to their original place, so you can't really do much of it. 
The only point of articulation that that takes its place is the arms. They go down like this. So I'm guessing that you put these down when you close them into its ball form. Now, um, I think the only, uh, it seems a bit weird that its head is always uh, sticking up, but I mean, the regular Trox core does that as well. So like father, like son, or like, or I guess like, like chunkier, like chunky. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's take a look at this guy's ball form. Now it is a rank two when it comes to closing it up. So I doubt I'll be able to, uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just doing stuff randomly this time. Uh, yeah, never mind. I'm gonna do this off camera and I'll show you how it looks in its ball form. All right, here is Trox Ultra in its ball form. Now, in its ball form, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, the way it's shaped and all the colors and everything. However, I have a feeling that it's going to be a pain in the butt to roll around just because of how many bumps there are. And uh, even even following the line where you're supposed to roll it, there are some little tiny bumps along that might mess with your roll as well. Especially this part over here where it's just completely flat. But uh, anyways, let's uh, take a look at how this thing rolls. Alright, so um, I had a bit of trouble trying to get it to do the real, the really cool flip that uh, they show off in the uh, commercials and everything. However, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad to roll. You just have to be really careful with the rolling that you do, um, especially since it's such a weird shaped, uh, uh, it's, so, it's so weirdly shaped in its Bakugan ball form. Um, I found a better... Uh, Success. I found much more success just rolling it slowly as compared to uh, rolling it quickly. So you might want to try that when you're rolling this guy. And as you can see, it picks up the Bakugan with its chin. Which is a bit... Uh, I guess that's really the only way you can put it without it being too weird. But uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, let's... Uh, closing thoughts. Alright, so that was everything I had to say about... Titan trucks, and um, you get some pretty good stuff with this back gun. You get a solid shield back of core, uh, also a solid hex back of core as well. Um, its base stats are okay. I mean, like, uh, there's a better back gun with better base stats. However, its effect is pretty decent. Um, also, the ability card you get is pretty decent as well. But the best thing about this guy is its new evolution Titan Trox Ultra. It's a five cost back gun with 1000 B power and does 10 damage which uh, 10 damage is a lot, and 5 costs for a Bakugan with 1,000 is about standard for pretty much Bakugan evolutions. Um, but the good thing about that evolution is that if you control a Winton Styles, this back Titan Trox Ultra will end up getting plus 1,000 B power and uh, plus 10 damage. And I believe uh, Winton Styles also has a boosting effect in it as well, so you're pretty much getting a really good combo with Titan Trox Ultra and Winton Styles in your deck. And because of that, so if you plan on running a Ventus Bakugan deck, then this guy is definitely a must-have. And even if you don't want to, uh, if you don't, even if you don't want to have a Ventus Bakugan deck, just the fact that this is a main character Bakugan um, is worth picking up if you are a collector as well. So, anyways, closing statements: This is one of the better Bakugan in Wave Two, if not the best one, and uh, you should definitely pick it up. So, anyways. This has been Zionic Blader, and if you liked my review and you want to watch more, hit the like button and subscribe. Or don't, because I'm not, uh, I won't know if you don't. So, uh, good night. Papa bless.